Hey guys, what's going on? 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 It's Jim Bob, and welcome back to Let's Talk Cambridge United, episode 20. Two away from my lucky number, so hopefully that episode can be a lucky episode, I hope. This is the pre yoval chat, I suppose, sort of thing now. I think this is how these go now, my pre yoval chat. Thoughts and opinions, and let's get into these now. Yeovil are currently 20th on 38 points. 11 points above the relegation zone. Kind of have the feeling they were in our situation about this time last year, but they seem to be sort of turning it around at the minute. We are tw we're 12, 51 points, five away from the playoffs. Could be two. No, hang on, I've got to do some, yeah, two. I've got to do some maths. It is quite, it is six o'clock and I've literally just finished work, so I thought I'd come home and do this. But anyway, now this is a stat I quite like. Yeovil have kept five clean sheets in their last five games. It's going to be so hard to break them down with the run they're on at the minute. It's definitely possible. Nothing's impossible. But you look at that run that I've got on paper, five clean sheets in five matches, kind of worries you a little bit. Whereas we've only kept one clean sheet in five games, so eh, it's all right. It's not the greatest, but I'd prefer five clean sheets. Beggars can't be choosers. I think that's how the saying goes. As my screen flashes, and you're probably seeing that my, my face flash blue and then white again. But anyway, top scorers for Yeovil. Ah, oh, ex Cambridge United man, Ryan Bird. He is on eight goals. Although I haven't heard much from him lately playing. I don't know if he's injured or anything like that. If you do know if he's injured, let us know in the, in the, in the comments. But I've not read anything on him. I've not seen him in a lineup recently. I don't know if I'm not looking hard enough. Zoko is uh, their next top scorer on seven. He scored a couple in his last three games. Right, their number one keeper. I'm about to put in Google Translate and I hope I can pronounce it right. Right, I'm on Google Translate. Pop the name in. It's pronounced. Kriziak. I know I've got that one right as my wire's going flying. But I know I have got that right. Kriziak is their number one keeper. I found out he's Polish. And I found out he's a former Exeter keeper. So I say I need to do a bit more research and that's a bit that's as much research as I've done at the moment. And he's an ex international player back in two thousand and eight. So whether that means anything or not, I don't know. Yeovil are currently going on a run of six games unbeaten. Yeah. It's these aren't the sort of stats you want to be hearing if you're going for a playoff run. Shut up, phone. Phone go. Hello from the other side. It's going to be hard to keep up with what they're going through at the minute, but I mean, it's only being settled by one goal, if that, well, it is being settled by one goal. It's very rarely 2-1 because I don't know. I just don't know. I think I'm losing it. There's not much I can say about them. Nothing bad. All good at the minute, what I'm seeing, but I won't say that because then it'll put us down a bit. It's going to be a close game. I can already tell it'll be a close game. It's going to be like uh, when we played them away, when we beat them 3-2, but I think... I've said this for the last few games now, and I've been wrong, but if we want it more, we will win it. We just have to wait and see on the day. That's all I can say. We have to wait and see on the day, really. Score predictions! It's going to be... Let me just imagine... Speak to the football gods. 2-1 to Cambridge. I don't know. It's just 2-1 to Cambridge. That's all I can think. Obviously, as I've said, we beat them away. 3-2 away. So that's a positive. We, there's a player we don't speak of anymore who scored two goals. So there's that. Uh, so if it wasn't for him, we'd only have scored one, possibly. We've only met Yeovil six times in the league. Well, six times league and cup. We've only beat them the once, and that once was this season, and it was the away. It was the away fixture. I've suddenly gone mind blank. I'm just waiting for a mate. It was the away fixture. That's all. That's all it was. That's all that needs to be said. But between Cambridge and Yeovil, the games are usually setted by set by two or more goals. The winner has two or more goals. That's just the way it looks, seems to look in these in the head-to-head -head stats. Pretty much summed up everything that I need to at the minute. If there's anything else I've missed, pop it in the in the comments, and then I will take notes and then plan it for next weekend. Upcoming videos. Oh, it's gonna be. I'm looking forward to this weekend a hell of a lot. So uh, this whole weekend, well, this Saturday, I'm planning on vlogging the whole day from the minute I sort of get ready to leave. To on the road when I'm on the bike. Uh, when I get to the Abbey, I'm gonna be vlogging who I'm meeting with, maybe a few secret things that we're gonna be doing, a few photo spots we're gonna be think doing about as well. If you do, if you do see me vlogging about, come say hello or just wave in the background and 
Oh no, it's at least somebody that watches the videos. That'll be a nice way just to get you guys in it as well. Uh, there'll be highlights and there'll be a let's talk after that on Sunday. I don't know if we'll be going to the next game, which is the away game. Away to Bristol Rovers. I can't say for definite. I'd love to go to it. But I can't make any commitments at the minute because obviously it's Good Friday. I have to work. Can tell you now, a thousand percent, I will be at Cambridge versus Oxford. I know that for definite. Now, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one as much as I have doing recording it. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button, leave a like. It does keep me motivated to do these. If you want to talk, use pop it in the comments as well. I'd love to speak to you. If you're coming from Yeovil. Pop, pop a comment, let me know you come from Yeovil, let me know your score predictions, let me know anything about your club that I don't know yet, which is a lot that I don't know, so it'd be nice and to know. All I can say, guys, is I will see you on Saturday evening. Peace!